Businesses are now facing another issue with loans they got through that Paycheck Protection Program. So what this means is come tax time, it may mean that many businesses would end up paying more in taxes than expected. That is unless Congress takes action. Our Lindsay Nadrich is digging deeper into what's next for all these businesses. Lindsay? Yeah, well, the Paycheck Protection Program was the lifeline many businesses needed to stay open during this pandemic. It was supposed to make things easier, but because of new guidance from the IRS and U.S. Department of Treasury, it may end up being a bigger tax burden. The guidance says if the PPP loan is forgiven, businesses can't deduct expenses related to the loan. So this means they can't deduct things like payroll expenses, rent, and utilities. Slabtown Barbershop owner Marty Caballero got a PPP loan. He says it helped him stay open after losing three months of income during that first shutdown. He doesn't have a lot of employees, so he's not as worried about the tax implications, but knows others are and says owing more money come tax time could be detrimental for a business that's barely hanging on as it is. Being that we haven't had any kind of like secondary round of help with the fact that we're on another shutdown, it seems like the least they could do is, okay, well, we'll let you do that as like some type of assistance since we're not, doesn't seem like we're getting any other assistance. Uh, we're hearing from clients who, who may have made a different choice had they realized that this was not a truly tax deductible uh, or a tax uh, free situation. Steve Stegeman with Davis and Graves CPA in Gresham says the guidance goes against what Congress intended when it created this program to help businesses. There is a bill that would change this, but Congress has yet to take action on that. I'll have much more on this coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.